Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everyone. So today I got Galaxy S10 Plus and uh, I have already flashed the Pixel Experience Plus Android 13 version ROM on Galaxy S10 Plus. So about the ROM, the Pixel Experience Plus Android version 13 is performing very good on this particular mobile. Very fast, good battery, good quality camera and uh, stable steady the speed is very good with the rom now if you want to flash the android 13 pixel experience plus rom on your galaxy s10 plus then you have to watch this tutorial video now the most important thing that this rom or this video is only for galaxy s10 plus exynos chipset if you are getting helped by these videos then do not forget to subscribe my channel click or tap the bell icon and click or tap the select all thank you so much this is the website the official website of pixel experience link provided in my video description click the link the website will get open galaxy s10 plus code name is beyond 2 lte come here and go for the 13 plus edition click here and then check the latest release by checking the date currently 15.8 is the latest release click on here then first download the recovery image file and then the download build and uh, uh, we will try to flash this build with the help of this particular recovery so this is my downloaded folder where i have already downloaded all the files which are required for the flashing procedure first of all install the samsung usb driver on your windows so windows will get easy to detect the mobile phone if you have already installed it then do not reinstall it but uh, those who are not having it must install it first platform tools link provided download it and then must extract it in same folder and uh, seven zip software if you are not having it then must install it on your windows click the link of Odin, download it and then extract it in same folder and this is the recovery file and the pixel experience plus rom file now copy this rom file from the downloaded folder open the extracted of platform tools folder and copy that rom file over here when rom file get copied then press f2 on the keyboard and erase the rom file name change the rom file name just type rom must check the extension dot zip then press enter key we have to rename the rom file we have to make the name short now i will go back to downloaded folder then rename the pixel experience plus recovery file click on it press f2 erase everything just type r e c o v e r y must check the extension dot i m g press enter key right click on the recovery dot i m g file then go to the 7 zip section and just go to the add to archive now the next window will get open come here archive format click on it and select the t a r you will see recovery.tar then come down here click ok and the conversion will start the file got converted and uh, it uh, create a new file that is recovery.tar now we can flash the recovery.tar with the help of Odin now open the extracted folder of Odin then double click the Odin file to open it click ok on next window the Odin will get open. Click AP on Odin, then go to the downloaded folder and you will see the uh, newly created recovery.tar file. Click the file to select it, then click open. Now Odin is ready to flash the recovery file on mobile phone. I will come back to mobile phone. I will show what we have to do before starting the procedure my galaxy s10 plus is dual sim variant model number is g975 f and uh, will tap to the software information your mobile phone 
must be updated to latest stock rom one ui 4.1 and android version 12 in case if your set is on android 11 then do not try to flash the custom rom because the rom will not get boot on android 11 must have android 12 version then uh, click the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven the developer mode is turned on i will go back to settings mobile phone must be connected with wi-fi or with internet now click the software update in settings then click download and install let the set check to update once your software is up to date now go back go back to settings then go to developer options and definitely you will see OEM unlocking is uh, came back on the developer options. It is not prominent and it is already on because my mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. Now the most important part of thing that is you must unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, I will leave tutorial video link in my video description. You can watch that video, unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone must. Then you can simply proceed the further procedure. Now you have to save all the internal storage data, your videos, pictures, WhatsApp, everything because this procedure will format everything. Must charge the mobile phone battery to maximum. In case if you are using Samsung account, must log out from the samsung account or must remove it first then go to manage account also log out your google account and must remove it and go to lock screen and select the swipe as your screen lock type to turn it off must turn it off if you have done all these things you can simply power off the mobile phone we need to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode for that hold the cable and check the other side of this cable must be connected with computer we have to boot the mobile phone into ordin mode for that press and hold the volume down key and bixby key only two keys that are volume down key and bixby key connect the cable with mobile phone the phone will boot into warning screen release both keys immediately now press the volume up key once to let the set boot into ordin mode now this is the ordin mode screen we see the kg state must be checking and the frp lock must be off and also the OEM lock must be off and also if your set bootloader is unlocked then the bracket will show U. U means bootloader is already unlocked. Now coming back towards the computer screen, Windows detect the mobile phone. Also Odin detect the mobile phone. You can see COM3 which means that Odin detect the mobile phone. Come to the option and tick the auto reboot here. Go back to lock then click on start. The recovery flashing will get started and it will done soon yes you can see succeeded one and pass means that odin flash the recovery file on mobile phone click reset then click exit and go back to the downloaded folder coming back towards the mobile phone cable is connected it will be connected and we have to boot the mobile phone into the pixel experience recovery we have to press now few buttons that are volume up key volume down key big speed key and power key pressing the volume up key then the down key and big speed key power key holding it press mobile phone will get restart releasing the volume down key first up and releasing the power key Here we go, Pixel Experience Recovery appears on the mobile phone. I have released all the rest keys. Now on this recovery, what we have to do first, we have to do, uh, tap the factory reset, then the format data factory reset, then format data. Procedure started, done, then for tap format cache partition, tap yes, done, then format system partition, tap yes. Wipe completed. Okay, go back. Then tap apply update. 
then tap apply from adb so that is booted into adb mode coming back towards the computer screen we'll go to the extracted platform tools folder then we'll right click on cmd then we'll left click on run as administrator the black color command window will get open now type the command to start flushing the rom file that is adb space side s i d e l o a d side load space r o m dot z i p press enter key the rom will start transferring to the mobile phone and at the same time it is flushing also we have to wait let the flushing complete then we will continue flashing got completed and at the end of the screen you will see install completed with status 0 which means that rom got flashed perfectly simply tap reboot system now and disconnect the cable from the mobile phone the phone will start booting into pixel experience rom soon and uh, we are done from the computer i will close the command window you can if you want you can delete the extracted folders and i will power off the computer now waiting for mobile to start booting to X pixel experience rom already started welcome to your pixel complete the setup screen now finally the pixel experience plus rom got flashed very perfectly we'll go to settings and we'll middle then we'll go to about phone and here you can see that the invite version is 13 and build number is this one pixel experience plus beyond 2 lte rom got flashed very perfectly enjoy the rom enjoy the galaxy s 10 plus do not forget to like the video keep sharing it with others thank you so much take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye